should call the meeting back to order. We're going to start the meeting tonight with a public hearing on the 2017-2018 school calendar. As provided by state statute and duly published, a public hearing will be held at 5.30, at which time citizens may be heard on the 2017-2018 school calendar. And we have a presentation. Well, the, the draft information on the calendar has been before uh, uh, the public on our various media sites and through the, the building principles, through newsletters and communication for uh, several weeks. Uh, the committee that makes up the calendar committee are students from both the junior high and the high school, uh, teaching representatives from all of our levels from elementary to uh, middle to junior high, high school, uh, administrative team members, Mr. Froelich serves on the calendar committee, and uh, parents as well. We had three parents that served on the committee. So uh, as, as you well know, and this probably a good reminder for the public that there are certain statutory requirements that we have to adhere to and part of that is building in six emergency days uh, for snow or any other emergency that would cause the closure of school so those are accounted for two they're embedded in the calendar uh, remaining as Martin Luther King and President's Day uh, and then four at the end of the calendar to make up the six so if we do not use any days uh, once we get past President's Day or Martin Luther King Day, then those become days that we're off, obviously, and are not available to be used afterwards. And that was a discussion point. We've had that every year, and it, so it, they decided to keep that in there. We try to start school as late as we possibly can. Uh, again, this is the uh, perpetual date for starting. Uh, in, the, in the Later in August, we were able to do that this year, and that certainly resonated well. Uh, week at spring break that aligns with the university and then uh, out by Memorial Day with graduation on that Friday when you put those parameters in place there's not a lot of wiggle room mm -hmm. uh, staff development days or mirror what we're doing this year uh, we'll continue to assess that and this is an hours based calendar as opposed to a day's calendar so there's more than the minimum amount of hours recommended or I mean um, required by state statute so calendar before you is recommended by the calendar committee with input from all those constituents and it's uh, our recommendation that that calendar be approved so we can get information out to our career tech center sending school districts so they can align their calendars to ours thank you dr zales uh, anyone wish to speak on the calendar we'll close the public hearing i'll entertain a motion for a job adoption of the 2017 2018 school calendar i'll make that motion Thank I'll you, second it. Thanks, Jamie. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Same sign. Questions?